Hey Roti, so it's been a crazy week with a lot of drama out there, y'all. From the Christian and Tamara Braxton to Didi and Cassie Ventura, not Kiki Palmer and her baby daughter drama, y'all. It's been crazy, a lot of negativity and toxicity. We need a little bit of sprinkle of positivity, love, and feel good, okay? And that's why I'm bringing this to you. Love is Blind, Lauren and Cameron celebrate their fifth wedding anniversary. Are you kidding me? You mean it's five years already since the first season of Love is Blind? Oh my God, y'all. This one is really lit because they had a whole wedding photo, you know, retake, remake. It is so cool as well as Lori's birthday celebration in Vegas, y'all. Well, before we get right into all of this, hey, royalties, kings and queens, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl royalty back with another celebrity relationship. Just to my returning subscribers, you guys that we MVP. And if you knew, you were so welcome. Please consider being a part of us by hitting the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video. Thank you. So Love is Blind, Lauren and Cameron celebrate their fifth anniversary with an intimate vow renewal, y'all. And Usher, all the exclusive beats and dates you're about to get. So this also featured in People magazine and it's just beautiful. Y'all know Lauren and Cameron is the people's favorite from that show. I think a lot of people would agree with me when I say after Lauren and Cameron, basically there's no other real couple. Okay, yeah, there are a few here and there. I think there's another couple. Um, Is it Bernard and... Um, I think Burnett and his wife, I can't remember her name right now, I probably just put it on the screen, y'all. You remember the girl with a lot of bills, well, but Burnett ended up marrying her, and yes, those two are still going on strong, they're still married five years. That's why I think the Hamiltons and the Burnett are the only real two strong couples, and real couples so far with the whole show. The rest of the episode, scratch that, scrap it up, and throw it away, okay? But basically, I think I'm speaking for everyone when I say Lauren and Cameron, the Hamiltons, are the people's faves when it comes to Netflix, Love is Blind. And another couple that is basically, you know, becoming like Lauren and Hamilton, and of course, it's hashtag Black Love, are the Browns. Brett and Tiffany Brown. Y'all, those two, a lot of people are really vibing with them. They are also one of my faves from the show, Brett and Tiffany from season four, I believe. But aside those three couples, the Hamiltons, the Burnettes, and the Browns, every other <laughs> couple from the show, scratch that. Scrap it. Wrap it up. But anyway, you guys, the Hamiltons are doing their thing, y'all. You know, even though they are an interracial couple and some people kind of frown at it, you know, talking about, okay, y'all, double standard. When it's a girl dating a white boy, you don't give the same energy. But yeah, you guys, just sit down somewhere and relax because it's a good day and we're not about to spoil it. But anyway, I'll come to those comments. But first, Lauren Speed Hamilton says, every day feels like I fall more and more in love with cam so in an exclusive the couple opened up about their las vegas vow renewal at the bel agio hotel and casino and look back on half a decade together y'all the photos they took at the renewal are breathtaking like just look at those photos gorgeous y'all gorgeous i can't believe that they are still holding it down with each other five years going five years counting and they're still strong who would have thought that a love so beautiful would come out from a reality show and it has lasted this long? Laurie, who also celebrated her 36th birthday on November the 16th, went on to say, It feels like a flash. Even though I know for some people who've been married for 50 years, they're like five years. That's nothing. That's just the beginning. But we feel so blessed and we are happy. Every day feels like I fall more and more in love with Cam, which I didn't even know was possible. So I'm just happy to be where we are now and for our growth and proud of us. 33 years old Cameron says, 5 years is both a long time and not very much time simultaneously. It's really a matter of perspective. I mean, it's gone by real quickly, but then there have been times where marriages takes a lot of work. You have to put in a lot to get to a good place, which I feel great about where we are. So I'm really thankful for those times where it was challenging because it ultimately leads to a stronger marriage. In celebrating how far they've come, 
Lauren and Cameron decided to mark this marital milestone a little early by renewing their vows the first weekend of November at the Bellagio Hotel and Casino. For Lauren, choosing the location was easy since she wanted to see Usher in concert. She suggested they jet off to Las Vegas for the celebration. Cameron jokes that it started because Lauren wanted to go see Usher, that's first and foremost, and then it was just going to be a fun trip to Vegas, we were going to do the cheesy chapel type of thing and have a nice dinner, but then Laurie also know that they wanted to celebrate their marriage again but away from the camera since they were unable to get any real private time the first time around. We initially wanted to do another reception or something for our wedding because getting married on TV is nice because some things are covered but you don't get a chance to really do it how you want to she explained but then quarantine and covid happened so that kind of derailed everything for us we've been so busy lately and it's like it's five years this is the time to finally celebrate it on our own way in a fun way so this whole thing pretty much started where cameron organized a photo shoot for Lori's 36th birthday and y'all she was feeling the vibe and she made sure to enjoy every bit of it and for the vibe renewal they kept the invite list contained to Lauren and Cameron's closest family and friends for an intimate celebration. The two then dressed to the nines wearing a white wedding gown and traditional black suit for the renewer before posing for a photo shoot on the rooftop of the Bellagio Hotel and Casino. They said we didn't want it to be a huge blowout thing because I feel like with the show it was kind of that. It was like cameras, everybody, and it wasn't really about the intimacy of us really just celebrating our marriage. Lauren shares. So that's what we wanted to do with this, but a fun way in a fun city with our loved ones, but still not lose that intimate feeling of why we are here and what we are doing. As they reflected on their marriage, Cameron and Lauren can't help but think back of some of their favorite memories together. For Lauren, she says those including getting their dogs packs and blending families on their first holiday together. Of course, their very cute moment on the show where they made most of us cry along with them. For Lauren, one of her favorite moments was when she got her dog. She said, we got a dog, we were on the ride home and he was just sitting in our lap and he was looking at Cam all adoringly. She recounts, in my mind it was just a photo memory moment like, oh, I got a dog, I got my husband, this is my vision board coming alive. It was just a happy, joyful memory that I will remember forever till I'm 80 and gray. And when we first got married too and we had our first Thanksgiving and we actually had a chance to have both sides of our family together for the first time she said everybody was in the house and it just literally felt like a movie us all being together so it was beautiful for cam his most cherished moment include launching their quarantine diary series on their hanging with the hamiltons youtube channel as well as memorable trip to maine early in their marriage he said we went to Maine for Christmas and my mom has this tradition where she does a treasure hunt and puts clues all around and everything. He explains at the end there was a treasure bus and there were some scratch up tickets to the side. Everyone got one. Laurie scratched hers and she wound up winning like 5,000 grand. Laurie confirms it was $5,000. I said, oh, I made the right decision. I married the right man. I got 5,000. I got a puppy. I hit the lottery in more ways than one. Can life get it? any better but here like every couple the pair have also weathered some challenges including adjusting to being married to someone who also shares their afro style per se they've made it through by listening prioritizing each other and putting in the work Lauren said, I went from being by myself kind of a hermit to life changing instantly. It took a minute for me to get over that and not isolate and really realize, okay, you have a partner now, you have a husband, and five years later, I feel like I've made some good ground. As for your favorite thing about each other, five years later, the two can't help but get choked up while discussing how much they mean to each other. Can you imagine? They still have that crying. Oh my God. Can you imagine they're still crying five years later? I know there was a reason I felt for this couple, y'all. I know there was a reason. <laughs> Cameron is honestly very loving. Lauren says through her happy tears, he's so selfless and I really appreciate that because my past relationships were not that way. So I know what it's like to not have it. So I'm grateful. She went on to say for me, I think how Cam is for my family. He's so loving to my parents and my brother. He's so patient with us even on holidays when we get drunk and argue. Him and my dad will have their own side conversation 
organizations. It will go check on them. It's really a beautiful thing. And it's not just because of me. It really goes above and beyond to thank God, have those relationships. So it's sweet. Cameron says, this is hard to express, but I think even more this year have learned that Lauren is very consistent in who she is, which I really love. And just the thing that she's willing to do for our marriage. She's made a lot of sacrifices in many ways. The selflessness that she has shown this year has been huge and it was deeper than I have ever seen. He adds, I'm just grateful for her as a partner. Y'all know how Lauren and Cameron have been practicing for Usher's concert and Started when we were younger, you were mine. Y'all know how much Lauren loves Usher's so it was just right for her to go to Usher's concert to celebrate her Tennessee's birthday as well as their fifth year wedding anniversary. Everything was just beautiful. It made a lot of sense to have everything that she wanted, including a marriage renewal. Of course, first of all, they were in Vegas with their family. It was such a beautiful meeting. Her dad, her brother was there. You know, I don't really see any of Cameron's people in the photo. I guess they couldn't make it, but it was so beautiful. She shared a post on her Instagram. She shared some of the photos and she went on to caption celebrating my anniversary and better in Vegas was unforgettable, but it wouldn't have been the same without my amazing family by my side. Cherishing this moment and the bonds that make life truly special. You guys, it seemed like they had a blast, but that's not all. Given how much Lauren and Cameron have been preparing for Usher's concert, this was what happened, y'all. Lauren said that Cameron did not disappoint because bro was really practicing. And after practicing, this is what happened. Y'all, they had a blast. It looked like they had a mega blast at the concert. Laurie also had the opportunity to play dress up. She said, Vegas was such a magical trip. Still can't believe I had the opportunity to meet the one and only Dita Von Tess at her amazing show. She said, y'all know I love all things glamour and fabulousness. Dita's performance was an absolute work of art. I've always loved burlesque and the art of the tease. The show was so inclusive and I love how all the performers just ooze confidence and sexiness so effortlessly. This was Cameron's first burlesque show. Lucky him, laugh out loud, meeting her backstage was a dream come true. Dita is so amazing on and off stage. It looked like she had all sort of fun taking everything off her bucket list and just having mega fun. And for the Usher show, this was their outfit, y'all. They look good on those outfits and their Jordans. They sure were ready for a good night and they did. She also got a surprise card from a beautiful waitress and her team that was signed wishing her a happy birthday. Yeah, at the show, I think Cam definitely passed the vibe check. He did not disappoint. He put in the hard work. And yeah, he did not disappoint. Lauren definitely had a blast. Like she's having one of her dreams come true. And I'm glad she did not go up to her because we don't want no drama. We don't want nothing messing with this couple. Okay. You guys, it's such a joy to, you know, see the journey of this couple and see how they have been growing together. I'm wishing them all the best and everything good that they wish themselves. A lot of blessings, children if they want some. And, you know, more deeds, more opportunities, more open doors. And so that's it pretty much. A happy birthday to Lauren Girl. We are rooting for you and wishing you everything good. And also congratulations to their fifth wedding anniversary yeah you guys that's it pretty much in the video feel free to leave your comments y'all share your thoughts you know i love to hear your opinion and yeah before we wrap up this video of course the news of their fifth wedding anniversary hits the shade room and <laughs> y'all the comments the comments let's just take a few before we call it a day this brother says look how supportive the comment section is i wonder if it would be the same for a black man and this answer replied the brother saying nobody has a problem with black men dating outside his race the problem comes in when they degrade and belittle black women as their defense to why they're dating outside their race oh my god well so true and this answer says just got clarity for the beta black men stating that if it was reversed blah 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 most black women don't care who black men date what we take issue with is them degrading and belittling black women as their defense as to why they don't date them date whoever you want to date don't disparage black women in the process 
This uncle says, when black women marry white men, the comments are, I love them, beautiful couple, happy for them. When a black marries a white woman, it's, his mom is black, we don't care. <laughs> Another auntie says, maybe my soulmate is white, I'm over here searching for black love. <laughs> And this auntie says, why are you all talking about race when these people fell in love behind a wall? They didn't even see each other, like literally for sure. Anyway, you guys, the comment is really sick. I get it that a lot of the men are feeling some type of way that women oftentimes celebrate when they are in an interracial relationship. But the reverse is the case when men are in an interracial relationship. Honestly, even though I'm a woman, I can't deny the fact that yes, a lot of my gender, you know, they be eating the men up. They say they don't care, but they really do care. They be eating the men up. But a lot of times, some of them do that when the men are degrading black women. But even when the men are not even talking about black women, they're just living their best life and doing what suits them or who they love, being with who they love, women just want to hate at them. I think we shouldn't have the double standard and we should call a spade a spade. Let people be free and let people love who they love. Okay? Love who you want to love. It doesn't matter the race. And talking about who you want to love, I'm not talking about what some of y'all are talking in the street, okay? Like love who I want to love. I am not talking about the same gender. No. I just need to get that out clear, okay? I'm talking about loving anybody from a different race, okay? But yeah, that's what folks had to say. But we're not going to spoil this good day, this good moment with any bad energy. And so that's it pretty much in today's video. As always, thank you so much guys for watching. If you got to this point of the video, do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video and until the next one remember to pray work out work smart and slay <laughs> bye, -bye.